This video is trending online at the moment. Mm -hmm. When I watched it, I thought it was fake. Are you sure it's not fake? Till I started seeing all the stitches, the videos, the comments, everything. This video is not fake. Okay. I think you can see from the girl's reaction that it's not fake as well. If it is, she's a bloody good actress. But, yeah, there's been a lot of... Uh, well, let me show you and get your opinion and see what you think, yeah? Because I didn't cook dinner for her raggedy ass son! Only 17 years old! This man is 20 years old! He can cook through! She's gonna try to hit me. She's gonna try to hit me again. <laughs> oh, fuck, she's here. Oh, God. Alright, child, I'm gonna talk to you tomorrow. I'm gonna get out these clothes and take my bag. Alright. Oh, no, I know Kira better have her shit packed. Ain't nothing cook, huh? I know you better get your shit and pack it up right now. But mom, I don't have anywhere to go. Oh my gosh. You got to get the hell out of here. I don't care about that. That's a you problem. Mom, I didn't cook because I was doing my homework. So she's kicking her out because this girl didn't cook dinner for her older brother. Yeah. She's kicking her daughter out. Yeah. Her daughter. Mm -hmm. This mom is a bitch. There's no other way to put it. How are you going to kick her out for that? I, I, I've got girls in my house that cook for me, right? But they do it because they want to. Not because I would never be like, you didn't cook my shit, get the fuck out of my house. Ooh. And a mother to do that to her daughter. Are you sure this is Yeah, it fake? makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. What's wrong I with this woman? I searched high and low. I searched high and low on this video because I thought, when you see the way the mom starts talking, I'm like, nah, this has got to be fake. And I searched and searched, and there is nothing to demonstrate that this is fake. Well, she's definitely a contender for World's Worst Mom. She's going to win the award this year. Jesus Christ. Get the video off her bum. Yeah, uh -huh. Asian baby. Yeah. Did you eat? Yeah. Did you eat? Yeah. Did you eat? Yeah. 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 Yeah
Um, mama. Mama. Mama ass. I don't hear all that shit. As a matter of fact, leave this motherfucker back here. This the shit that I bought. You lucky you still got that goddamn phone. Now get your shit and get the fuck out of my house before I fuck the piss out you. No, ev- ev- most women so have the capacity I mean, to give birth. Not everybody should. Not everybody should be mothers. It doesn't affect though, innit? Yeah. Uh, did you? How much searching did you I do? I searched high and low. I promise you, I searched and searched and searched. And there's so many people reacting to it on TikTok, absolutely disgusted and appalled at this woman. How, okay, how, uh, this is so no, ridiculous. Like genuine reactions. This is so ridiculous that I just they ha- they must be acting. If they are, they're fantastic actors. Do you know what made me feel like they're acting? When she said, when she called her a chicken hoe. Oh, yeah, chicken ass hoe. I was like, what is going on here? This is what I mean when I say not everybody should have kids. Sometimes you get people online, you get some like pundits or political uh, YouTube channels like very, you know, everyone should have kids. No, not everyone should have kids. Some people should not be mothers and fathers. That is a prime example. But She's doing her fucking homework and that lard is sitting there playing Madden and your fat ass comes in there and starts huffing and puffing, calling your daughter chicken hoe because she's working whilst your son is doing nothing. Then you kick her out on the street. It's already dangerous enough for women as it is. And then you throw her out without nothing. A 17 year old, someone who's still in school. But the thing is, is that it, 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 it doesn't make sense why she's so like loving and caring of her son and practically doesn't give a shit about her daughter. Sometimes you hear about these things where moms are jealous of their daughters. You ever heard like, I think I've heard it with sons as well, uh, dads and sons as well, where they, they become jealous that there's another male or female presence in the house. Mm. I've heard stories where like uh, parents have killed their, da- uh, their daughter. Up. Yeah, I've heard stories really? of like, I don't know what it's called. There's like a, there's an affliction or something. I can't remember That's what it's called. That's just so but weird. They, uh, one of them is that the, I've heard one where the mother became jealous of the daughter again, all of the dad's attention, and she murdered her daughter. That is so It could be that. Because who talks to their daughter like that? She said, I'm doing my homework. Why can't he get off his lazy ass and make himself some food? Can you imagine? Look, I've got Ellie and Chelsea in my house. Yeah. My sister-in-laws who cook for... They cook for me when... when, If there's food there, I'll be honest, I I take their food. But sometimes they'll cook for me. But if they (laughs) turned around to me and said, I ain't cooking, do you feel I'm going to say, get the fuck out of my house? That's mad. That's actual madness. I, I just... (laughs) <laughs> that can't be real. It just can't be real. It has to be fake. Well, here's some like reactions to it, yeah. <clears throat> that mom who was mad at her 17 year old daughter for not fixing her 20 year old brother something to eat is mad weird to me. Like, it's strange as fuck to me. Like, she walked in the room and asked her son, Baby, have you ate? And he said, no, she only fit. No, she didn't want to cook, so I ate cereal. And the mom turned around to the daughter and say, "You mean to tell me all he ate was cereal? Oh, you finna have to get out of my house." Like, excuse me. And mind you, it's not like the boy doing nothing major. He end up smoking and rolling up and on his game. Like, why his big grown ass can't fix his own food? Then the mama telling the daughter, "Oh, you finna have to get out. Oh, you ain't want to cook." Um, I'm going to show you. And then the girl says she record her. Oh, don't record me. Um, I'm going to show them how I beat you. Blah, say, squat, say. But, like, just the whole situation wrong. I just feel like, personally, why is your daughter bring like, why are you bringing her up to cater to your son? Like, why do, like, girl, like, why do you feel like she has to feed him? Why are you even trying to install that in her? Like, am I tripping? There's no way my daughter is going to have to cook for her older brothers. Like, no, everybody, like, up the age, baby, fix your own food. It's really that simple. Then you could tell that the girl be going through a lot because the girl is, like, terrified of her mom. And she tell her my machine got nowhere to go home. I'm like, they ain't got nothing to do with me. You need to kick that big overgrown-ass boy out your house. What the fuck? This is how siblings grow to hate each other. <coughs> This is literally how you breed resentment in the house. Because I know damn well, if I was a younger sibling and my older sibling sat there and didn't say anything to my mom about kicking me up because I didn't, kick, I didn't cook your fat ass some yeah. food, I would want to beat you up. I'd want to beat you up. 
And I would I would grow to hate you. But yeah, the parent lousy. Is, yeah, encouraging the behavior of the other child or making them think that that's wrong. Like if you um, if your kid kept. I don't even. I ain't even got a good analogy for this, but it's yeah. You're making. You're brainwashing that kid to think, man, she's so wrong for not cooking you food, rather than encouraging you to become a better person and and get up and feed yourself and learn how to cook or do you know what I mean? Just anything. Hey, you know that woman's mentally ill because in one sentence she called her baby, and in the next sentence she called her chicken hoe. Who talks to their daughter like that? You know, I've been preached in a video uh, about this woman that was saying that. You shouldn't feel bad about cutting contact with your parents. And this video is a prime example of that. I don't care if it's your parents. I, I have to agree with them. I know it's probably a difficult thing to cut contact with your parents. But if you've got a mum like that, you are better off. You, uh, would, would you not agree? Yeah, it's, um, it makes you think what else she's been going through because the mum was there saying, now everyone can see that I'm going to beat your ass. Yeah. So it's like, you don't know this sort of abuse she might actually face as well. That's that's That might be physical and not just, like, verbal. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, I think uh, it's just sad. It's, it's very, it's very, pathetic. very sad. There's no, there's no love, but the love is going to the sun. And I think that's what's sad about it. It's that little girl will, will probably leave home or whatever... And sit there and think, why didn't my mum love me like she loved my son? It's not like the mum was just, you know, a moody mum that was horrible to all the kids. She's she's picking one over the other. And that's where I think it's a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, I, I would cut contact. I'd stay in there for as long as you can because you're a 17-year-old girl and it's dangerous out there. Stay in there for <laughs> as long as you can. And as she soon as you can... can't stay the mum's kicking her out. Try and do what you can. And as soon as you get your finances up or as soon as you find somewhere else to stay or if a friend can help you, leave and don't come back. If your mom wants to change her ways, let her change in her own time. Let her stay with her fat-ass son and, uh, and just keep it pushing because somebody like that will drag you down. They'll do no good for your life. She was, she's probably a vulture as well. When you start making money, she'll probably try to take your money as well and then gaslight you and say, oh, you ain't cook your brother dinner. You ain't pay my bills. You're good for nothing. Some bullshit like that. Well... She said I was doing my homework, and in the second bit, she said I was cleaning. So she's doing the housework for you, and she's doing her homework so she doesn't get in trouble at school, and you have a problem with that because she didn't cook for your son who's older than her and is more than capable of cooking for himself. Mm. Yeah, look, man, men, men, we got better things to do, okay? we got... Like play your video games and get your 20-year-old sister to cook your dinner because you're not capable... You ain't talking about me. I'm just saying, men got better things to do. No, I'm, I'm so joking. Do I'm joking. I think if, especially if someone clean, if someone cooks for me, I'll I'll clean my plate. I have been guilty of leaving my plate on the side, but I never leave it in the kitchen. I'll put it in my room. I'll clean it when I'm ready. If I drink tea, I'll leave it in my room. I'll clean it when I'm ready. Mm. I never leave stuff in the general vicinity. Mm. The only time I've made mess is sometimes I do fuck up in the bathroom. Like when I'm combing my hair, sometimes I'll miss where my hair's like flown off to. Like if, if the window's open. Oh, your hair just goes flying about, does it? If I'm combing it, you know, mm. you comb your hair, right? I'm assuming. And when you comb your hair and you take some out and the window's open, it like blows a little bit over there. Maybe I miss a little bit. Oh, that doesn't happen to me. Yeah, well, you don't have a, a big window in your bathroom like mine. I do in one of the bathrooms. Oh, that's, that's the only bathroom I know. I didn't know you had another one. Yeah. Upstairs? Yeah. Anyway. And, um, yeah, that's never, the wind has never been that powerful that it sucked the hair out of my hand. And you know what I, mean? <laughs> I didn't say it sucked out of my hand. Well, it sounds I'm in like the shower. It. it sounds like it. You, it's in right, your I'll hand explain and the wind it to you. and then it's flying Let out the window. Let me explain it so you don't start gassing these lot up. I'm in the shower. Yeah. Okay, I've got one of those open showers. Mm -hmm. I've got the water on my hair. I'm combing my hair. Mm. Right? When I, sometimes I'll comb down and mm. the, we've got big, two big windows right here. So mm. I could jump out. So all your neighbours can see you showering? No, because the way it's positioned, I'm to the side. But if they could, I, you know, I wouldn't care. Anyway, if I go like this and I comb like that, sometimes the wind will just be like... Sucks yank. it out your, your, your Off your the hand. comb. Oh, it sucks it off the comb, right, okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Right. You done with your, your question? Yeah, because this is very interesting to me. Why? With me combing my hair and losing Because I just hair. don't think the wind's powerful enough to, to suck 
wet hair out of your comb. Stop saying suck and wet hair. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> anyway, these guys don't care about me combing my hair in the shower. Anything you want to add to what was what were we even watching? Oh, the delinquent mum. <laughs> Get away from your mum, man. She won't be able to chase you anyway, judge by the looks of her. Don't cook your brother dinner. No. Cook him dinner. I, actually, I can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> don't put salt in his tea. Yeah, put salt in his tea and put sugar on his chips. See how oh, he likes that. Sugar on chips actually sounds quite nice. It's quite nice, actually. <laughs> All right, we're done. <laughs>